Hi there everyone, thanks for joining me again. So this video is really about LinkedIn groups and the power of LinkedIn groups because if you're a business professional and you're looking to network either with other professionals or maybe recruit people or even just look at your target audience, this is one way you can do it and it's very, very effective. So we go to the top where it says groups. Now, at the top here, these are the groups that I'm already a member of. Uh, below that, groups I may like, it's kind of recommendations. Uh, group directory, lots of different industries out there, so you can look at the directory and you can create a group. Now below, these are a couple of groups that I'm actively in at the moment, but I just want to demonstrate how to create a group. So go ahead and click create a group. Now in order to be recognized and, and for people to sort of have a visual representation of my group, we're gonna to need to put in some sort of logo. So I'm just gonna stick that in now. And obviously this is something that you own, this is a logo that you have the rights to use and, and is your own property. So we just need to click that there to acknowledge that. Then we need to put in a group name. There we go. Then we need to choose the group type. So if you're a college leaver or university leaver, and that's the alumni group, a corporate group, maybe a conference group, maybe a network group like a, a kind of BNI. Uh, you might be a non-profit or, or charity or professional group, and obviously there's other. So we'll just click professional group for now. Then we need to put in a brief description about the group and its purpose. So we'll put that in there and below that we're going to put in a description so this is what appears within the group pages and, and really it's going to have the kind of keywords that people people are going to be searching for okay we'll scroll down and then we're going to need a website now this isn't compulsory because you might be a startup business and you may not have a website just yet we'll need to put in an email address and then access. Now access is important because a lot of groups you can automatically click the join button and you're automatically in and you're part of that group but there are also groups that you may not want that to be the case. You might want to filter the members and you want to make sure that the members aren't going to spam or, or put junk mail and messages into the group activity because that kind of clogs it up and it's not really good for the people that are members of the group so be very careful about that but I would always initially put request to join just so you don't get any spammers myself now scroll down and you you can actually display the group in the groups directory which is something that you want to do and also you can allow the members to display your logo on their profiles now this is important it has two purposes really number one it establishes who you are as a brand by using the logo and number two when it's on their actual profile people can see the logo and people can see the type of company that you are and they're much more inclined to join because their friends are part of that group so that I think that's quite important we've got language and location uh, if you want a single geographic location you can pop that in there and obviously if, when you're linked to Twitter you can have a Twitter announcement for people joining the group and people that have joined your group and then we want to click the agreement at the bottom there now we can create an open group or create a members only group so I'm going to go ahead and create a members only group by clicking that now we've actually created the group it says here add connection so you can automatically add the connection but I'll be a bit more selective and I'll go down here to where it says skip this step so there we go, so we've actually created the group now, there's no activity whatsoever. At the top, when you do have members and people that you've approved, you can click that and you can see the members there. And then we've got things like promotions, so there might be any particular promotion that you're running, you can, you can put that in there. Maybe job opportunities you can pop there. You can search within the archives of the group and you can look at specific conversations and discussions. And also you can manage the group. So generally what activity is happening uh, and you can kind of keep it maintained that way. And there's also more. Now this is updates, your activity, maybe your settings, also the subgroups uh, and the group profile and the group statistics. So again, because this is your group and you've cultivated it, you want to keep track of what's happening in the group and you want to make sure that no one's kind of abusing the rules of the group but you can also look at your target audience by looking at maybe the age demographic uh, is it is it more women to men uh, there might be specific details that you want to keep track of just to monitor the group and to, to sort of then take it a little further if you want to network with people maybe you want to do seminars and you want to make sure that it's kind of tailored towards your target demographic so that's one way of doing that let me go back up here to the top and just click groups 
there's an actual list of all the groups that I'm actively involved in. So I'm a member of all these groups here. And you just see, you've got the logo, then you've got the statistics for the group. You've got any active or new discussions there. And also any jobs or job discussions and job opportunities will appear next to there. And obviously you can click any of these. So if we go along to the digital media group and just click on that. Again, that's going to open up this information and you're going to be able to look at the conversations that are happening here. Uh, also, you can comment, you can just jump straight in um, and, and you can kind of look at any new information that appears within the group. Now, this is a great way, particularly if you're, let's say, a marketer, if you're in, in digital marketing, maybe graphics and things like that. You can select a group based on your personal interests or maybe you, you want to align yourself with those particular experts and you can get an idea of what the culture is like you can also engage with them and find out how they do what they do share ideas share expertise so it's a fantastic way of doing that uh, and obviously any job opportunities that appear within the group are going to be advertised there by just clicking jobs and you can look at different opportunities within the different groups and to make it even better and even more specific you can refine the results so you can look at different types of connections so second degree connections and you can look at the jobs that are associated with that so this is a really good way of engaging with your target audience but also speaking with other like-minded individuals so I hope that's been useful um, if you've got any more questions or queries please drop them my way and I'll be more than happy to to help you guys out and I'll see you in the next video